let's talk about how you can find the average and the uncertainty in the average for a number of measurements. So let's start with an example. Let's say that you measure the velocity of an object and you do the experiment six times. So you have six trials where you measure the velocity and let's say that the values that you get are 0.32 meters per second, 0.35 meters per second, 0.28 meters per second, 0.37 meters per second, 0.29 meters per second, and 0.34 meters per second. Pretty consistent, good data. So in order to find the average, well, finding the average is pretty easy. You've probably done it before. To find the average, you take the sum and divide by the number of trials, in this case, six. So if you do that, you get 0.325 meters per second. That's the average. Now, the uncertainty in that average, well, you take the maximum value that you average, divide minus the minimum value that you average, and divide by two. That will give you the uncertainty in the average. If you do that for this data, you get 0.045 meters per second. That is the uncertainty. However, you have to remember two cardinal rules for uncertainty. And the first one is your uncertainty must have one significant digit. So this uncertainty that we have is 0.045 meters per second. That can't be. You need to take that down to one significant digit. So that becomes 0.05 meters per second. That is now your uncertainty. Okay, not so bad. So we have an uncertainty, we have an average, but the second big rule is that the last decimal place of the average must be the same as the decimal place of the uncertainty. So what that means is, well, let's see, the decimal place of our uncertainty is the hundredths place. We have 0 0.05 meters per second. Five is in the hundredths place. So the last decimal place of our average must be the same as the decimal place of the uncertainty. The last decimal place of the measurement has to be the hundredths place, in other words. So our measurement, or our average, becomes 0 0.33 meters per second. So the final answer that we get is 0 0.33 meters per second plus or minus 0 0.05 meters per second. That is the average and the uncertainty in the average. So let's look at one more example. Let's say our data set is another set of velocity measurements. And now it's uh, 0 0.41 meters per second, 0 0.22 meters per second, 0 0.31 meters per second, 0 0.43 meters per second, 0 0.29 meters per second, 0 0.31 meters per second. And if we calculate the average of that, well, let's see, do the sum divided by six. So you get uh, 0 0.328333 repeating meters per second. And the uncertainty is the max minus the min over two. And if you do that, that gives you an uncertainty of 0 0.105 meters per second. Mm. However, we have to apply the rules. Uncertainty can only have one significant digit. So now the uncertainty is 0 0.1 meters per second. Now, the other rule is the last decimal place of the average must be the same as the decimal place of the uncertainty. So our uncertainty is in the tenths place. So the last decimal place in the average must be also the tenths place. So our average is going to be 0 0.3 meters per second. And with the uncertainty, that's plus or minus 0.1 meters per second. Now, I may not have covered every single difficulty that can come up with uncertainty. There are other strange situations that you will encounter in the future, but this is a good start, and this should get you through your first labs.